Honeybees play an integral part in agricultural production in the United States. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates honeybee pollination is responsible for pollinating $15 billion in crops each year. Honeybees pollinate over 90 flowering crops in the United States, including apples, blueberries, and almonds. In fact, one-third of the food we eat is either directly or indirectly the result of pollination by honeybees. If the food honeybees helped produce were removed from this breakfast, it would go from looking like this to more like this. This is why colony collapse disorder is such a serious threat. Colony collapse disorder, or CCD, is a phenomenon characterized by the sudden disappearance of worker bees from a colony, often leaving behind capped brood, food, and the queen bee. California's almond groves are at greatest risk to CCD as they rely solely on bees for pollination. Every year, over half of the managed bee colonies in the U.S. are transported to California to help pollinate almond trees when they bloom. Because of this, it is necessary to search for alternative ways to pollinate California's almond groves in response to CCD. One factor linked to CCD is a specific class of pesticides known as neonicotinoids which do not wash off plants or degrade quickly and can last for months, causing them to have an extended effect on bee colonies. Other factors include varroa mites, which are parasites of honeybees and other pathogens. However, CCD is most likely caused by a combination of these factors. For example, many viruses are transmitted by varroa mites, and neonicotinoids have been shown to weaken the immune system of honeybees. One potential solution that is currently in development is the RoboBee, which is a robotic drone that could be used for pollination. However, because of the small size required for this task, designing this has been difficult as all of the parts must be made from scratch. Because of this, other short-term solutions are being investigated. Another potential solution is through the use of an electrostatically charged pollen spray. This is possible due to the role of electrostatics in pollen transfer. As bees fly, they build a positive surface charge which can interact with the negative surface charge densities on plants to aid in pollen transfer. By giving an electrostatic charge to a pollen-containing spray, it becomes up to 12 times more likely to reach its target than if a conventional spray were used. By converting this technology for use on a larger scale, it could help alleviate the increase in cost of pollination due to CCD. The last solution is to use self-fertilizing varieties of almond trees, which require no or less amounts of bees for pollination. While there have been self-fertilizing varieties of almonds around for quite some time, they have had less than desirable characteristics, such as a hairy seed coat. However, a newly developed variety called the Independence Almond may have desirable characteristics while maintaining This variety is new though, so it is not yet clear if there are any problems with it. Although the almond groves in California are at greatest risk to the effects of CCD, it is a problem everywhere. Anyone can help to support local bee populations by taking a pledge to not use neonicotinoid pesticides such as those listed here, plant flowers that attract bees, and take other steps to protect local bee populations using this website.